All right, here we go, part two. Part two of this lovely black and white scene. That's all I can say, black and white. Um, lots of fun. I'm having lots of fun with this one. So this is, um, in case you've just joined me, in case you've missed part one, I suppose I should just tell you, this is the Buffer Market in Cork, the north side of Cork. So it's up there around Shandon Bells, if any of you have, have ever visited, you'll recognise this. It's just around the corner from Shandon Bells. And on the left hand side is the, the old kind of, event, it's an event centre, it's the Fork and Crane, that's what it's called. It's a big round building on the left. But I'm focusing on this today, because it's a lovely, lovely scene. Um, so in, in part one, we just kind of blocked in a lot of areas and we got some highlights, some shadows here and there. Um, I think I'm pulling, I put in the floor here, okay. Now, back in the old days, this was just all kind of dirt, dirt road basically. So I put that in. Um, I put in a nice shadow here from this building out on the left, outside of the painting. There's a big shadow being cast and there's kind of a little step there. I put that in and perhaps a couple of people walking or something, you know? And I'm trying to think of somewhere where you could add a little touch of colour, um, just to make it different. Perhaps somebody walking with, I don't know, a yellow umbrella or something, or a red umbrella, or somebody with a red jumper or something. I just think something with a splash of colour somewhere would really, you know, beef it up and really make it stand out. What do you think? That's just an idea that I'm toying with at the moment. Um, now I'm just going to fix the top of these because they're not, they're not very um, accurate. I'm just going to touch them up a little bit. So, I'm just mix a bit of grey for this. And I'm just going to go across these. And I can just fill in the black again afterwards, okay? No worries. I'm not even sure what they are. They're just little, I don't know, bits of wall or something. So I'm just going to fill them in very quickly. Now, um, I'll add maybe a lighter tone just to the sides here, where the light is kind of coming along and catching them. I suppose we have to make them three-dimensional, don't we? Two-dimensional, three-dimensional, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's take some black now and just fill in those little peaks inside there again. Okay, and um, I hope you're all enjoying my tutorials out there. I know now in the past couple of weeks, the last couple of tutorials, I did a lot of kind of in-depth work and it's probably a bit advanced for some of the viewers out there and for that I apologise. But I just wanted to bring you on this journey with me. I really did. And uh, so I said, look, why not make some tutorials as we're going along? So after this, normal business will resume. So I will go back to my normal kind of single tutorials um, and going kind of back to basics a little bit for those of you who are only just starting. Um, so, yeah, that's just another idea that I was, you know, kind of messing around with. Now, I'm just going to darken some of the shadows here and there. Okay, you can see that. Just ever so slightly. And there's one over at the back here. There we go. Um, so I'm just kind of going around now, picking out little, little areas where I think they should be darkened. I might look to strengthen some of the stones on the front of these pillars here. So just a little bit of contrast here and there. Okay, and we can add some light to this as well later. I might darken 
Um, I might add a bit of shadow in underneath here. Like so. So you see, you could be going along like this now for ages and ages, touching up little bits here and there. Um, I do want to try and keep it as simple as possible, but I do want to really kind of accentuate some of the shadows in there, and I really want to kind of bring it to life. Now, I want this really dark. So, the sun is coming down and casting a shadow on this, and it's casting a very dark shadow just in behind this front section. So, I want to try and make it as believable as, as, as I can. Okay, so you can see what I mean a little bit. Well, I hope you can. And we'll have a little bit under here. Let's put a nice dark shadow under here. So all of these are making the pillars stand out that bit more, aren't they? So this is the fun, I, I love this kind of work. Um, okay, hmm, I'm going to darken some of these along here. And it's tricky to try and find a balance between the light shadows and the dark shadows if you understand. It's tricky trying to kind of show that balance and show the different different greys, light greys, dark greys within one tone, if you understand. So they're only very subtle. Some of them are very, very subtle differences. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of texture to this building here. Um, I suppose it's just, it's only texture, I just want to add some texture to it. And let's take some that colour and let's darken this roof off in the distance here. Um, I'll take some white and I will put a bit of a highlight just around there. Lighten that very, very slightly. And I'm not happy with this. This just doesn't look right to me, so I'm going to go back over it again. There. Okay, that's a bit better, because this building cuts in front of that one, you see. So it's difficult to kind of separate the two, but make, make them look like they're separate, if you know what I mean. Let's take some Naples yellow with some white and brighten some of these here. And I draw what I'll take with my flat brush, give it a quick clean on the tissue and take some Naples yellow, and some white. And I suppose this is it's not really a tutorial that you can paint and follow along with, but it's something that you can look at and get some ideas and get some, I suppose, inspiration, if you want for a better word. I do like giving inspiration to people because we all need a little inspiration, don't we? Every now and again. Um, Okay, I'm going to go in the top of that with some nice nice highlights there. I'll sharpen up some of these corners here. It's coming together, isn't it? Now I'll take my pointy brush, get some black on that, and let's go along and try and get some finer details somewhere. Um, let me just fix my picture here now, there we go, and hmm, you have know, a piece that comes up like that, and a piece that comes across, it's 
So just some of the finer details, some of the smaller details. Okay, like so. We have little little dots of light on the tops of these. And I will separate those as well with a little splash of light colour. Very different it is quite difficult to get a very straight line. Um I'm just resting on my hand down here, but if you have a stick or something that you can rest across, that's better again. So inside there now we have, in under these columns, we do have um, little square sections. Now I'm just going to start, just one more, just one more little thing I need to do here. And I want to darken across some of these. Right, we're getting there. No, what was I saying? Oh yes, I'm going to take a very small flat brush now, next. A nice little flat one, it's a number two. And just underneath these columns we have some little blocks. So I'm going to try and emphasise some of those. Some Naples yellow with a touch of white, it's just a lighter grey. And let's go, I go, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right. And we'll try again in the middle here. One, two, three. And here again. One, two, three. And the front section, just white. One, two, three. And then with some black, let's just do a little shadow, yes? So we'll have a little shadow underneath. And I try to concentrate now, that's why I'm not talking too much. So yeah, trying to uh, really get this nicely done. A little shadow on the backs of those. And we'll have a shadow behind these. And we'll have a shadow behind these. And let's put a couple over here, just to suggest one or two, that's all. Right, now I must straighten um, I must straighten this one because this is not very straight now, is it? And this painting is still wet, by the way. It is actually still very wet. I just finished part one earlier and I just said I keep going. Um, but like you see, I can't record too much at once. It has to be all edited back down. So that's why I kind of did it in two separate parts. But you'll see them anyway at the same time once I upload them. So let me just go along here now and get this in again. There we go. 
and I'll put dark line right across the two of them. Now, little windows on this small building over here. We have, um, I'm just straighten these out again. And this goes right across to two of those buildings there. We have a window up top. Just a suggestion of a window. And we have a couple of doors down the end here, okay? See? It's just a simple. A little representation, that's all. Okay. Let's do the road, the roadway here. Let's get all of this in, yes? I get a bigger brush for that. Um, okay, I'll take this nice flat brush and let me take some, now I'm dampening the brush very slightly. Some white, touch of black, and plenty of Naples yellow because it's quite bright, isn't it? Just colour all this in. And let me get some more. Do you know what now? More Naples yellow. I'm going to put plenty of Naples yellow into this because it's going to be very bright. And it's very bright on the, on the photograph, isn't it? So I want it to be really bright. And down along the side here, and across, in front. Now it's quite wet as you can see, but I will build on top of this. This is just a kind of an under layer a base and I always make my base coats quite thin if you notice um, and I build on top of them then I cut under there and I cut across now I'm going to come up higher with this okay around the shadow like that so now it's looking a bit better now isn't it because it's sort of sitting on the floor I think anyway I'm going to soften the distant ones here just ever so gently. And now I'll add a little touch of shadow over here. So I'm going to get my small brush with some black. And let's take a touch of Naples in there as well. Look, nice thick paint down for this. And let's get a nice strong shadow across over here. Again, I'll soften it very gently into the building in the distance, and we have a shadow coming right out here, don't we? So now, let's have a look at this now. It comes right around, doesn't it? Swoops right around. And let's fill that in.
There. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken it as it comes further in. And I'm going to pull it out gently. Okay, just like that. Now I need more paint. This is great fun working like this. It's simple, it does, you don't have to worry about too much um, colouring. It's just nice, nice and easy to paint. Have a bit of fun, mess around with some tones, you know, plenty of practice. Now I'm going to soften that very gently. Now although it's a very sharp shadow on the photograph, I'm thinking it might be a little bit nicer if it was slightly softer. Does that make sense? Now, maybe not, I don't know, but I look, I'm just going to leave it like that. And what I'm going to do now is take my small brush and there's a little step that comes out. There. And I'm going to put a little highlight on that. And then a nice highlight on top where the top stones are kind of coming across. Okay, like that. And a little shadow down here. So it's like a step up, isn't it? Right. So now we have that, I'm going to just darken along where the step meets the floor here. Okay, okay, you see that's that's absolutely fine. I'm, I'm happy enough with that. I'm going to add some light to the painting, to the, fl to the ground, okay? So I'm going to start here. Thick paint, now very, very thick paint. So the sun is kind of beaming down on the floor. And I'm only going to put it here and there. I'm not going to put it everywhere, okay? So you can see it's just and look I'm not even looking at the photograph I'm just doing it my own way nice light color hitting the floor here and there now also because the floor is kind of dusty and muddy and what have you I'm going to add a touch of kind of dirt along the floor so with a dry fan brush look just a little bit of black just a tiny, tiny touch of black. And I'm just going to dab it here and there. And even into the shadow as well, look. And it just creates the impression of a dirty kind of a floor. Along there. Here and there. Okay, is that looking okay? It looks alright, doesn't it? Next, I'm going to put this kind of a wheelbarrow thing in. It's like, a, well, what, what would you call it? It's a thing that you'd pull with a horse anyway for a little cage for, you know, moving things around. Is, is, is that what they say? So let's take um, our pointy brush and some black. I'll go with black first. So I'll do everything in black and then I can just hit it with some highlights, you see? It's just basically like a cage. And now it goes up into the photograph here, but I'm not going to put it up into the photograph. I don't want to spoil this. 
So you want to bring it down a little. There. And bring it down here. And it goes down out of the photograph, doesn't it? And then this part comes down at a very slight angle here. So I'm just having a bit of fun with this now. This is just really, really fun. Uh, we have a couple of uprights, don't we? Let's just mess around with this now. Stick some uprights in there. And we stick some uprights on this side. Now the back side of the cage will come across the same angle and it'll, hmm, let me see now. So this one is this front corner here and it'll come, hmm, that'll come across like that won't it? And down. Is that making sense? I hope so. God, I hope so. And now the bottom will be just covered in black completely. We'll just fill this in in black look, right? Just quickly. Okay, just very, very roughly. That'll be perfect with the bottom in there, right? And we have a couple of pieces then kind of cutting across. Now what I want to do first is those back pieces, pieces at the back, I want to hit those with some highlight first, okay? And then I go in front of those with the nearest ones. So then I take my black again and I pull down the front of those, okay? Like that, nice and thick. So that will then push them once to the back again. That's it, you see? That's what I was hoping to achieve anyway. And also, we have a couple going across this way. I'll make these nice and thick now, yes? Nice and thick, thick bars. Alright, I'm happy enough with that. Um, okay. I suppose we could just start adding some light to this now, couldn't we? So let's go along the top here first. And along these horizontal bars. And let's put one right down the front of that. And we put one right down the front of that. Okay. How's that looking? So we have a big wheel now. Let's take a big wheel on the side of this thing. A big, huge, old fashioned kind of a wheel. And let's bring some piece in the middle and bring some of these little spokes down like so. And I suppose we've got to put a hint of a wheel on the other side, will we? Would that look a bit better? Um, put a bit of light across that. Now 
It's coming on nice. I'm quite enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying it, but I'm quite enjoying it. I suppose if anything you can just pass away an hour or so. Okay, and let's just add a touch of the light across the back of that. Alright. Okay, we have the cart in. Let's um now let's just put a little some bits of metal and stuff like that, you know, little brackets and stuff sticking around here and there. Um, okay, we do some people, shall we? I suppose we had better put a bit of life into the painting. Put a, bit, a couple of people walking around. Let's put one over here. And remember, it's just carrots. See? shape of a carrot. And it gives them a bit of shadow. And a little head. There we are. And we could put the impression of someone sitting on the step here, which is in the painting, is quite nice. I like that. And, um, okay. Just a very, very rough outline, that's all. And he's wearing a little hat, let's imagine. little shadow then for him. And look, let's put a little highlight there. And let's put somebody else uh, standing up around here somewhere. All the ghostly figures standing around. Isn't that right? Ghostly, ghostly figures. And uh, let's just let's just imagine there's bits and pieces laying around here and there. Bits of you no, know, it could be bits of anything. Let's just add a little touch of detail into it anyway. Say there's someone up here trying to get in. And let's give this guy a walking stick. All right. It's all just for you know, just for effect. Um, little couple of dotted stones here and there. Okay, little, just little bits. Because back in the old days there was no concrete like that, it was just all dirt roads, wasn't it? So let's just, you know, come on, let's just give it, give it a whirl. And we give him a touch of light here and there. And let's give these people a touch of light as well. So they're all kind of busy now going about their their daily lives. You know, just minding their own business. Now let's push a couple of boards up here. As God knows, this place is full of crows. There. 
go with that. So there we are. We're pretty much 90% finished. Um, I'll just go along kind of maybe for the next five or ten minutes and just add little tiny slithers of highlights just here and there. Again, just to show off some of those leading edges. But on a whole, I think we've done a pretty good job, wouldn't you say? And I am pretty happy with the outcome, I have to say. And sure look, I just wanted to keep it simple anyway. I didn't want to add too much detail into this. I just want to capture the feeling of the place. And it's not pristine and it's not... Uh, spotless clean you know it's just very natural it's a very natural place so there we go let me just sign this and who knows this might sell you never know should do you S Conway and I'll go along now just kind of Add tiny details, just sharpen up some of the lines perhaps. And just kind of, you know, add little bits. Just little, tiny little bits. Um, this for example, just give this a bit of a, a light there. Um, I think that's it. I think we have finished. So I call this one done. So let me just zoom in for you so you can see. Now I might do a little bit more work on those pillars just to clean them up a little bit. But I think I'll leave it dry just a little bit first, yes? What do you think? Um, yeah, I tidied up a few small bits here and there, but I think in general, I set out to achieve, or I, I, I achieved what I set out to achieve, I think. Um, you know, just a nice simple kind of a black and white image. So um, yeah, that's it. So let me unscrew the camera. And I will show you all the paintings I have ready for the exhibition, so don't go anywhere, okay? So, this is it. Let me show you what we have for the exhibition. We have this lovely snow scene here. That's quite nice. Lovely colouring, that might catch someone's eye. I also have this lovely one down here, the dark hedges. I don't know if you can see that properly now, it's late in here. So that's the dark hedges. That's a lovely one, isn't it? Couldn't imagine I'm just walking into an exhibition and seeing that. Wouldn't that really catch your eye? So we've that one, and we have Bally Cotton Lighthouse. Let me go right in here for so get a good look at this. Look at that! I'm really proud of this sky. Isn't that a lovely sky? So we have this one, and the frames really look well, don't they? We have this one, the Dingle one, the Dingle Peninsula, you remember that? So we have those three, okay, those three there, and we have this one, and we have that. Now I haven't the frame ready for this yet, but I'm thinking uh, cream on the inside and maybe black around the edge. So one of these frames here, okay but black along the edge here. What would you think about that? Would that be nice? Or vice versa? I'm thinking cream on the inside and black on the outside. Would finish it off lovely. So, I'm quite happy with that. That turned out lovely. So there we are. The next time you see these, they'll be hanging in the exhibition. And, um, you can tell me what you all think. So I look forward to that bringing you along for the journey, all right? And uh, that's it for this week. 
thank you so much for all your support thank you to everyone on patreon your support really means a huge amount to me it's really helpful um, i hope you're enjoying all those tutorials i have another one coming for you guys very very soon on patreon um, i'm thinking about something nice i want to do a nice nice subtle landscape for all you next week i'm thinking about a nice autumn scene uh, creating mist so lots of mist in an autumn scene it was requested by someone i can't remember who now but it was requested by someone a nice autumn scene with some mist or maybe some reflections or something um you know i'll i'll see how it goes as each week i keep changing my mind so listen thank you very very much for watching i hope you enjoyed um if anything if you didn't get any hips, hints or tips i hope you've just enjoyed watching me no, sipping a cup of tea, watching me away, happy out. So uh, thank you so much, and I will see you next week. If you want any of those green brushes, uh, just email me at stephenconway12 at gmail.com, and I can give you those brushes. The fantastic brushes, they really are. So I'll see you next week. Go and get paint and have a, have a bit of fun. So I'll see you later. God bless.